In this video, I'll be unboxing and testing out the Sodai magnetic iPhone mount to use for continuity camera. All right, welcome into this video on the unboxing and testing of the Sodai magnetic iPhone mount. Before I go any further, I will mention that this is not a sponsored video, but the company did send me this product to test out, and that's because I've already done a video demonstrating continuity camera. You can find that video linked above right now. But I didn't really have anything before to mount my phone or attach my phone to my MacBook if I wanted to use a continuity camera with just the MacBook. You can see this is kind of behind the scenes of uh, what my typical studio setup is. And I, I hesitate to say the word studio because you may or may not be able to tell. I'm in my son's room, hence the color of the wall and the posters. Uh, but this is where I tend to film these kind of videos as well as record for my podcast. And so normally speaking, I may use a tripod like this or a mount that's uh, attached to the desk for continuity camera. But in this case, this magnetic mount will actually be able to go onto my MacBook and then I can magnetically attach my iPhone to the back and just record and use my iPhone as the continuity camera right from there. So let's start with the unboxing. I got this a uh, couple of days ago in the mail. I did start to open it a little bit, but uh, basically a, a small little box and it's, uh, it's pretty thin because this product is not, you know, not very big. Uh, we have the small instruction manual as well as uh, you can scan a QR code for two, a free two year product warranty as well as 20% off your next purchase, your next order from Sodai. And apologies to the company if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but I think it's Sodai. It's S-O-D-I. Of course, uh, the link will be in the description below for where you can purchase this. But basically, the two most important pieces of this product are here. The first is the magnetic plate that you would attach to the iPhone using MagSafe. And this is used if you don't already have a MagSafe charger, because if you have a MagSafe charger, you may actually not need this hockey puck looking uh, magnetic plate, I'll call it, for this mount. And then really the most important piece is the piece that hooks on to the MacBook. All right, so there's a little notch, you might be able to see it right here, that if you have a MagSafe charger for your iPhone, then instead of using the magnetic plate here, you would just use this piece, you would slap your MagSafe charger right in there, the cord would come out from that notch, and then you could set it up on your MacBook. I actually don't use a MagSafe charger, so what I'm gonna need to do is to use this plate. And you may or may not be able to tell there's some uh, rubber here, some soft material that actually attaches to the back of the iPhone to protect it a little bit. I have a case, a MagSafe case on my iPhone 14 Pro, so I'm not as concerned, but if you don't use a case, certainly that's gonna help you out a lot. So let me demonstrate, basically, you just, in my case, like I said, I don't have a MagSafe charger. So I have attached the magnetic plate into the stand. The stand then goes just like this onto the MacBook. Uh, and I'm not sure you could see, but I have, I'll just lower this down a little bit so you can see, I have a, a bit of a clamshell case on my iPhone. As a matter of fact, this is the unicorn, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the soup case or sup case, depending on how you pronounce it. I can link that in the description as well, just in case you're interested. But I've had that 
uh, case on my MacBook Pro for a while. It's a 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. The case is great. It really is durable and protects my MacBook a lot. But we're not here to talk about cases. We're here to talk about the Sodai uh, mount. And so we've put it together and all I did was I dropped it onto the MacBook Pro with, it actually you know, is wide enough to fit with the, uh, the clamshell case on it. And then basically what I wanna do is to attach my iPhone 14 Pro, make sure it's kinda leveled out there so when I go to, do, to use something that requires the continuity camera, uh, it'll be nice and straight. So I'm just gonna straighten it out here a little bit. And then when I go to use continuity camera, I'll just use the photo booth here it already has recognized my iPhone 14 Pro. And instead of needing this camera, which you can't see, but I'm being filmed right now on a Sony ZV-E10 that quite often is mounted behind my MacBook here. If I want a nice, easy, quick setup, I can put together that Sodai uh, mount, which frankly, I would probably leave put together all the time because I don't have a MagSafe charger. Drop it on the back of the MacBook Pro uh, and, and with the case, and then just fire up uh, Zoom or in this case, Photo Booth or something that requires a webcam and select, I know I've demonstrated this before, but you go to camera here and then just select your iPhone as the webcam and that'll use continuity camera. Now I know that there are other products like this out there, but this one is really great. Yes, they sent this to me, but I would highly recommend it. It's easy to use. As you can see, it fits well on the MacBook Pro, even with a clamshell case or other kind of case on it. And uh, it's really great to just leave around and just pop it on the MacBook Pro and fire up continuity camera nice and quickly. At the time of this recording, uh, this product goes on Amazon for around $20, but the company has been nice enough to partner with me in offering you an extra 10% off. So the link will be in the description below along with that coupon code so that you can get 10% off. And I just wanna let you know that that deal runs through January 15th of 2023. So act quickly, uh, but this has been a product demonstration and unboxing of the Sodai Magnetic iPhone Mount in case you want to mount your iPhone to your MacBook and use continuity camera. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and like this video. Also, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. My name is Dr. Dan Krinas, and I do a lot of videos that have to do with digital learning, or in this case, tech and gear reviews. If you're into that kind of content, then subscribe, come back for more, and get notified every time a new video comes out. Thanks.